drove me. No, no, draw of Warren Wood. What are your thoughts? Uh, not the best game in the world. Um, obviously, it was quite difficult out there. Um, first half, obviously, they were on top um, you know, for large spells. And I thought if there was a positive, it was that we got through some, some tricky little moments in the game and um, you know, defended really well, which I think is a me a real positive thing for us moving forward you know we look a lot more resilient now and, and harder to beat and harder to score against um, second half we came into the game a little bit more and um, you know without really threatening them massively had a few little bits and bobs that um, were a bit more positive than the first half but um, yeah it was what I think a game where only a goal would have won it for either side really so you know take a point. And you also came back into the side after a couple of games out of injury how is it yeah, good. Um, it was pretty sore after last Saturday's game, so obviously it's just too quick a turn around really for uh, the Dagenham game, but it settled down um, pretty well this week and glad to, to get through it, yeah. And we, uh, yeah, as we said, uh, Borenwood came out and started the first half well. Yeah, they did. They, um, i say, approached the game obviously very positively and um, you know, with the three sort of up top, I think with the conditions it probably helped them because they could get forward quite quickly and then sort of pinned us in a little bit. Um, but I felt, you know, I'd say we saw that out and then regrouped really and, um, you know, second half, I think if there was one team that was going to win it, it would have been us without, as I say, really threatening them massively, really. And Dean Brill had to make a good save in the early stages as well. Yeah, he's been different class really since coming in. He's um, you know, a real presence. You know, vocally and organisational wise and you know when he's had to pull off some top saves he's done that as well so um, you know, it's very commanding and um, you know I think he's been massive for us since he's come into Does that show the progress that the side has made? There's been a couple of times where you've been under sticky spells and you seem to ride through it more often than not. Yeah for sure you know we're all disappointed in there because we haven't probably performed as well as we have done recently um, and for me that's a good sign you know to come off a you know we haven't lost we've kept another clean sheet um, so yeah on a difficult day for football you know you take out the positives you can um, you know obviously we want to be winning games particularly at home but um, you know no one in there would make excuses but it was um, quite tricky at times to, to play with any real sort of you know, purpose and, and get the ball down so we just had to try and get through it and um, you know we did that. What was the message by the gaffer at half time? Just to sort of um, you know get on the front foot a little bit more. I think we um, we, we allowed ourselves to get penned in a little bit, um, almost as if we were kind of the away team, you know, and, and let them impose their game on us too much, really. Um, and obviously, I say we thought we did that really well second half and managed to say get up there and a lot more and keep the ball away from our goal. With the key moment of Macca's goal disallowed. What are your thoughts on that? Look soft to me. I think you know the, the keeper seemed like he knew he was in a spot above her, and obviously had gone down. And you know, so I've had one of them. I think Moons is, is sort of half pulled out, really knowing what was coming. But the momentum's obviously taken him into the, the, the keeper, um, and obviously the rest decided not to give it. It's probably an easier one not to give than to, to play on. Um, but as I say, sometimes you get him, sometimes you don't. Uh, but one a big positive though was uh, Lamar Reynolds came on for his debut and he, he looked bright. Yeah, it looked really lively. It's not easy coming on, especially in your first game. Um, but he's looked lively the, the couple of days he's been in with the boys, and you know will give us another option going forward, um, which for us is you know the next step. You know, I'd say we've looked nice and solid and, and resilient and hard to beat. Now it's just adding that little bit on top with the quality that probably earlier in the season where we were scoring for fun, we are conceding for fun. So it's just getting that balance and you know, the gaffer said in there, we've kind of got our foundation now which we need to obviously keep working on and not get away from that in terms of being solid. But start sort of adding you know, a bit more which will be easier once we get on some, uh, some good services. And what sort of role do you have when, you, when a young player comes along? Well, I suppose like um, you know, most players at the club that are younger, you definitely try and make them feel welcome and um, you know try and integrate them into the, the group as quickly as possible. Um, but, you know, we've had a couple of lads in this week, and they're both bright and really lively lads, and um, you know seem to have slotted in really well. So you know, it's a good group to come into. You know, some real good um, senior pros around the club that obviously will look out for them and, and, and they say make sure they get involved really quickly and. Um, so hopefully we've seen a little glimpse today of Lamar in terms of that settling in rather quickly and you know, hopefully he can go on and do more but you know the squad's very strong, you know, get players back now. Obviously Big George got through some minutes the other day and um, yeah, that'll help us in the second half of the season where maybe some of the smaller squads you know, might start falling off a little bit through 
through injuries, suspensions and stuff, you know, we feel like we're getting stronger um, as a group and you know, real competition. Josh Karoma, very unlucky today not to be involved um, you know, after putting in a good performance you know, at Dagenham. So it just shows now people are pushing each other. Everyone's level's got to stay really high to just be in the team, be in the squad. And if you're not, I'm sure the lads will still keep pushing you know, to get themselves in there. So it should bode well for the second half of the season. And that makes it just one defeat from the last seven. So there is positives. For sure. You know, as I say, we've very much stopped the rot, which you know was a, a very difficult period that you know we all went through and couldn't buy a win or a, a result, you know, for a long time really. So as I say, we look solid, um, but that's not enough. You know, we want to be better than just you know an average team in the national league. You know, we want to you know add more to it. And as I say, I think those extra bits will come, you know, as the weeks go by and it's just a matter of, um, you know, getting back to winning ways uh, next week. And finally, the, the crowd were excellent once again. How much of a help are they? Yeah, they're massive for us, man. They sort of come out in their thousands every week and, um, you know, really try and spur the boys on and, um, you know, from our point of view, it's um, you know, a great place to be playing our football and we just want to make sure it's a hard place for other teams to come, you know, whereas probably early in the season, teams are coming here and enjoying it a bit too much so you know if we've got to make it a horrible place for people to come and not look forward to coming then you know we've done our job. Brilliant, thank you. Cool. How much is